it when when you look at it from a macro level, um, and it's it, and and we can look at it from a macro level, you know, because we're so connected um, through technology these days and media, like the the proliferation of plastic pollution is 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 something that anybody can see. You just you know, look at your phone or open your laptop. So from a macro level, it can look overwhelming. And, and I get that sentiment from people on a pretty regular basis. Like, I, you know, yeah, it's a problem, but what are we gonna do about it? Being, being someone who's a leader of a company that's engaged in the supply chain, um, that understands how a lot of these problems are being created, um, I see a really clear path to making really significant progress. I really do, and I think it can be done pretty quickly. If we change the way that we create products and packaging so that those products, if they do end up in the environment, break down, a lot of these problems go away. You know, the reason that we have these problems is that we're creating a lot of products that don't go away, <laughs> that they stay. So to me, it's not that difficult to think, oh, well, if we just transition into more sustainable products and do that on a really large scale, uh, we could have a huge impact. We just need the willpower to do it. We need everybody to stand up and say, this makes sense, this is achievable, let's do it. And we need consumers, we need humans all over the globe demanding this. I mean, the power is with the people, but the shift has to happen within the supply chain.